I'm Champ Chong, it is Friday, which means the weekend is just around the corner, so let's kick it off with the clip of the day. Oh, oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! G'day, guys. Welcome to the show where I report on the latest in video game news. Now, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to teabag the like button. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure to smack the like button as always. Anyway, jumping into our first news report of the day, 343 Industries did reveal the Halo 4 achievement list. The studio said, Our primary goal when creating Halo 4's achievements was to reward milestones and increase replay value while balancing both the difficulty and breadth of game modes. Now that I respect when you see a developer put so much work into their own game that they believe the gamers will come back and play the game over and over. And not just the multiplayer side of things, but the campaign itself because that way they keep it interesting over a long period of time. Or simply until you unlock all the achievements. Now getting to these achievements, I have linked the full list down below for you guys to check out, but some of the most interesting ones I found were Lone Wolf Legend, which is worth 90 points if you complete the game by yourself on Legendary difficulty. Another one I saw was Bromageddon. It's when you finish the game in co-op on heroic difficulty or higher. And then there's a bunch of other achievements from different modes and just random things inside the game. So yeah, with all these interesting challenges and achievements, I really appreciate that 343 have taken their time and have put some cool things into the game. Let's just hope the actual game and gameplay and everything is just as cool as the achievement list and it doesn't suck or something. I doubt it though because I did actually have a turn on the game while at E3 and it was pretty impressive. Oh, and since we're on the topic of the game, if you guys didn't know, last week Microsoft revealed the full contents of the Halo 4 list limited edition. There's some cool stuff in there like the Forward Unto Dawn series which has got some new parts added just for this limited edition. Also there's a bunch of in-game contents but the most interesting part that I found in this whole thing was the DLC pass which will get you all the multiplayer maps. And if you want to see the full list of everything going in the limited edition I've linked it down below as usual. Anyway it is that time of the day where it gets a little bit sad. Sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the sad news. When it's not sad, it's happy, it's awesome. Because today's sad news is actually not sad, it's awesome news. Because today, I get the chance to give some codes to you guys thanks to the awesome team at Microsoft. Now, as many of you guys may know already, Counter-Strike GO was released just recently and I've got some codes for you guys. Now, if you didn't already get the hint, these codes are only for the Xbox. But anyway, to win a code, you can answer the Grillman question down below, or you can follow me on Twitter, as I'll be giving them out on my Twitter account. So yeah, go follow me on Twitter to win some codes, or you can answer the Grillman question later on in the show. Anyway, that about does it for the sad news, which was actually awesome news, which means now it's time to switch to the big news. Big news! So the first of two stories in the big news today is that Remedy, the studio behind the Alan Wake games, which are Xbox 360 exclusives, have announced that they are working on a next-gen title. The interesting thing here that I want to point out is that the game that they say they're working on is most likely going to be only on the next Xbox and not other consoles since they are a Microsoft studio. Oskari Hakinen from Remedy did actually state, We're working as usual, first with a relatively small team on a next-generation project. One wonders, can the new consoles be really that much better? better than the previous, rest assured, it's going to be a quantum leap. With what he just said, I'm honestly shocked because a quantum leap, <laughs> that's got me excited. Seriously, that's pretty epic to hear because a quantum leap could mean many things, but the way that he stated it, it just means that we're going to have epic games next generation and it's just got me really excited, as I said. His words make me want to go to the future, have like five minutes on this console, come back and be like, VICTORY! Let me know if you got that reference. Anybody? Anybody? I don't know. But anyway, what I do know is that R18 ratings in Australia are kicking in a place. Now, as I've reported in the past, the R18 system is due to be in place at the start of next year as it will be mandatory for all states and territories to have it in place by January 2013. The great news that was released today is that the ACT has put it into place today. So to all the people that do live in the ACT, you will now be able to purchase R18 games. But for the rest of the country, we all have to wait until January. But my guess is that we won't have to wait until January because by the ACT doing it first, the other states and territories might follow and do it before January. Anyway, that about does it for the news of today, but if you missed any of my videos this week, they are on screen through annotations up there somewhere, or the links down below. But now, to the one and only Gorilla Man who holds the question to the giveaway. 
Thank you, Gorilla Man. So, if you guys want to win the CSGO code, you have to answer this question, which asks, what is the most gory video game you have ever played? So, put your answer down below in the comments to win, but if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack that like button as always, because I'm Chad Chong, Wax, this is Trailing, here the answers to Gorilla Man's previous question.